Hey there, it's Bobby, aka Paginator, and we're in day 14 of 31 Days of Craftoween. Yeah, I'm in my pajamas again. You might be able to tell I've got my Weasley Brothers, um, Weasley's Wizard's Weasley's shirt on. It's my pajama shirt that I've been wearing this week, so anyway, um, let's create something. We are going to be using this beautiful piece of paper. It is just gorgeous and it ties very well with this page that was already made uh, when the journal came to me. I want to cut a piece big enough to cover all of this right here. And that will be the first task today. All right, we're gonna glue this down. Isn't that beautiful? It's got this tapestry kind of background and we've got these gorgeous ravens with the red roses I have another raven um, here which I was thinking could be my focal point but this guy is also kind of getting in the way so maybe we need to do something here or maybe he just goes on top of that one I have this piece of black textured paper we could just glue down it's kind of a frame for this guy. I kind of like that. Um, so I'll glue those pieces in place and then I want to do just a little bit of collaging on top, add a sentiment and call it good. It's going to be very simple and straightforward today. I just am too tired to do a long complicated piece. So gluing shall commence. <laughs> All right, so we also added this butterfly and I used a little floral thingy, I forget what they're called, uh, for the antennae on this butterfly and add a little 31 uh, right there. And the sentiment is going to be, of course, a line from the raven at my chamber door. I know that's too tiny for you to see in the camera very well. Because we can't do a page with ravens on it and not have a line from that poem. That's just ridiculous. So we're just going to pop it down right there. And there we have it. Now I will say I'm going to make a couple of changes on this page. There's this little fabric scrap here that's gray and I just don't like it. So I'm going to peel it up and hopefully not damage the stuff underneath it. I just, I don't know there's something about it that I don't enjoy so if this doesn't work I can cover it well okay we got it so we did have a bit of paper tearing that is okay um, we can fix things that's what we do so what do I want to do as a good balance over here I have this page of like fussy cut kind of fussy cutting kind of images that um, where we got the butterfly and the raven from and I'm thinking maybe we could just pop one of these things. I'm kind of liking the look of this little mouse. So we'll cut around him and see what it looks like with him on the page. He doesn't really go with the poem or anything at all, but I just like how he looks. So we'll give it a try.
All right, so there's a little ledge that he's perched on. That piece of torn paper there can be his ledge, and there he is. There's one other thing about this page that I don't care for, and it's this right here. Again, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. It's just not something that I particularly care for. So I'm going to go to my black lace stash because it's my favorite thing, and I just want to add some. So we're going to add some of this that has little stars on it. I think we're going to call this good for today. We have this page here and then this shorter page here. We added a mouse and some lace there. And then we've got this fun raven thing going. So I am quite happy with this spread. We've got some dark burgundy kind of colors going on there, which I always appreciate. If I was going to still continue tweaking, I would maybe get out like an alcohol marker or something, maybe even a watercolor pencil and go over these roses and make them look more burgundy. So I might do that later off camera, but for right now, I am, again, very tired today. <laughs> um, if you saw my last video, you know that I've been having some anxiety issues, so it's, it's time for me to go have a rest. So I'm going to wrap this up and just wish you a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading, journaling, or crafting. Adios.